In the battle of the new teams, it was the Gujarat Titans coming away victors by five wickets to stun KL Rahul and company. We'll bring it all for you in this match review with Russell Rahul and don't go anywhere. Yup, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Avnish Hegde, watching Cricket.com and here we are to review another game, match number four. Need to remember that because there's so many trickling so fast. Russ, good morning, shall I say, because I know you're down under in Sydney, but that was a game which kept you awake, I suppose. It, it surely did. I mean, initially when it started, uh, you'd have thought, OK, let's switch off. But then uh, we saw some uh, fantastic cricket. Uh, and what was most exciting, Avnish, was the fact that uh, we see new heroes pop up. We're seeing players who we haven't heard of coming out there and showcasing their talent and uh, most importantly, their confidence. It, it's amazing to see that uh, this game went down to the wire after the um, Lucknow team was 29 for four. Even in that last over, it could have gone either way. Uh, till the very end. So it was uh, indeed a great game and uh, lots of positives uh, for both teams, in fact. Even though Lucknow did go on to lose, I, I think they'll take heart with this uh, performance because their main players did not fire when you look at their batting. Mm, yeah, it's a good point that you mentioned there. Let's quickly take a look at the match summary before we proceed further, Russ. Because look, the all-important line, like it always is, is that bottom line, which is our Titan winning by five wickets. And it was the bowlers who really kind of set up the game for them before the final flourish by Tavatia and Abhinav Manohar in the end. Not to forget uh, good innings by Hardik Pandya and David Miller too. But Gujarat Titans are beat chuffed with those two points to get their campaign off up and running. Let's start chronologically then because you mentioned that 29 for 4. No one would like to see KL Rahal be dismissed for a duck. It's not a, 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 a common sight that should I say. But having said that, super shummy indeed in the power play. How impressed were you? And more importantly, should teams give shummy just four overs straight up? Uh, well, to answer your question, no. Um, it will depend on the situation because he's a great depth bowler as well. If you look at his numbers, he picks up most of his wickets in the death overs. He bowls that Yorker and uh, I, I, if I remember right, up to about 60% of his wickets are late. Now, in this particular game though, I, I would have. Because you look at the batting that Lucknow had, they needed just one wicket and the ball was doing heaps. You tend to find that initially, I'll come back to Shami though, but initially you'll find uh, the wickets doing a lot, being a little unpredictable early. Uh, because they tend to leave a lot of grass. You're going to be playing lots of matches in very few venues. So that means you need to protect the square. You cannot um, leave it bare because then the sun will burn down. Uh, it will wear and uh, dry up the pitch. And as the tournament goes on, it will become uh, uh, very crumbly and the spinners will dominate. Uh, hence, you see uh, this balance. But with the dew coming in later, I thought the conditions were brilliant, but just a little too much early and uh, uh, Shami, how good was he? All the batsmen caught on the crease. That's the length that he, he keeps hitting. He keeps hitting it at uh, um, excessive speed. A little bit of movement uh, this way, that way, which always uh, keeps the batsmen guessing. And the wickets that he got, the top class players. Hence, uh, really impressive the way he got the Gujarat Titans rolling. Yeah, I mean, you know what they say, the corridor of uncertainty, or as Damien Fleming calls it, the avenue of apprehension, but jokes apart though, Russ. In terms of uh, the middle overs, do you think they kind of took the foot off the throat, so to speak, Gujarat Titans with the ball? Because the two youngsters, I mean, I say Deepak Huda is a youngster in all kindness, but Ayush Badoni and of course uh, Deepak Huda, Brilliant partnership of 87. Oh, unexpected. And the way they played was incredible. The way they paced their innings, the shots that they played. Now, both of them, half centuries of 41 balls. But you didn't feel them scoring. Now, that's a good strike rate. And then when you consider the situation they were in, it's an incredible effort, really. So, you can't um, really blame uh, the Gujarat Titans for taking it easy, you'd say, in the middle overs. But they are the bowlers that you do have. And you're not expecting uh, such a fight back. We're all thinking, ah, oh, this is going to be over very quickly with not much batting to come. But then pops up the new heroes. And I, I agree with you. You talk about Deepak Kuda, we've heard about him, we've seen him play. He's played for India. Uh, but these are the types of innings that would define you. 
e- even for uh, for Badoni, the way they score the runs and, and and capitalizing on situations. But something for Hardik Pandya to uh, uh, actually um, identify not only Hardik Pandya but other captains as well. Um, it is the first game, but you know how the Wankade plays. The lot of dew does come in and the game changes. So as it gets deeper into the innings, the ball will slide on. That also plays into the hands of the batsman. And hence, you have to always look for wickets. You have to pick up those wickets to stay ahead of the game, whoever the batsman is. Because, uh, as I keep mentioning, there's a lot of arrogance with these new players as well. That arrogance in a good way, that's the confidence that uh, goes on to give them performances like this. So you don't take anyone lightly and try and put them down. And that's why I, I said in this situation, I would have bowled Shami out. Okay, let's talk about the LSG innings with the ball in hand. And your compatriot, this one Tomino, was fantastic. Do you think he was unlucky not to bowl or complete his quota of four overs? Do you think KL Dahl missed a trick there because he was exceptional? Uh, I think he did. Uh, I think it was important to have bowled his better bowlers towards the end. I mentioned the due factor and how much the bowlers struggled. You look at the spinners um, who got away with it in those middle overs. Krunal Pandya, I mean, he's a tried and tested player. Uh, finger spinner. Deepak could have got through a couple finger spinner, but the wrist spinner needs a lot more grip. So with a wet ball, he will struggle. Now, when Huda got uh, weighed out, I thought that was the time that Bishnoi should have been brought in because Bishnoi went for a few runs against Wade and Hardik Pandya. Then they had two new batsmen in uh, Tevatya and Miller. That was the moment that you should have bowled him. Yes, true, left-handers, but he bowls a lot of wrong ones. Maybe he could have priced out a wicket at that stage. But come the 17th over with Dushmanta Chamira and Avesh Khan with you, uh, or, or the options being available, and also considering the fact that the 16th overall spin went for many, many runs, uh, I don't think Bishnoi was the option at that stage. The, the two main seamers should have been brought on and that probably uh, would have given you most of a chance. But you, at the end of the day, you feel for the bowlers at that stage because they're not in much control. A lot of those variations just slide on. But uh, as I mentioned, um, younger players, newer players coming and bashing it around, even Sandrangani didn't score much. But there were no signs of nerves. You just smack it wherever it is. So uh, you you just have to keep going. There, there are no teams just going to die wandering or fall away. You have to put them down. Absolutely. Now, it's food for thought because most teams are lean this season. You, do you expect people like Tevatia to be now maturing quicker, us? <laughs> well, he's matured, hasn't he? <laughs> well, you thought the last season uh, uh, was a flash in the pan, but he's showing that uh, that's not the case. And he, he, the shots that he plays, they're not slogs. He knows how to play the field. He played that reverse sweep uh, when Bishnoi came in, um, which uh, went for six. I mean, those are options knowing what this bowler will bowl. So he's playing the, uh, the correct shot. So that's a great sign. Uh, for, a, for your number six to have. And one of the commentators made the point, our team's packing up those uh, lower middle order players with uh, players who can be X-Factors. Yes, they are. But then again, if you look at the combinations, they're all attacking teams. There's not much batting after number seven. Um, they go for the frontline uh, seamers or the, or the bowlers. So, uh, Tevatia really uh, playing innings like that would give confidence to the top order that there's a banker as well who will uh, give you an impact innings, which is incredible. Yeah, most teams went for LSG like yourself before the game, but you ended up with egg in your face. But that's just a gentle reminder from us that there is banter in this show as well. But Russell Arnold, thank you so much for, of course, making time felt in this review. That's all we have in this one. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen, watching this. Thanks for watching. It's a goodbye from me and it's a good night as well from all of us at Cricket.com.